Today, we will be discussing Earth's interconnected cycle. The goal is to understand that Earth consists of four subsystems across whose boundaries matter and energy flows. A certain group of interacting, interrelated, or interdependent parts that work together to form a complex whole is called a system. Specifically, Earth system is commonly referred as the spheres, which are divided into four. Atmosphere, Hydrosphere, Geosphere, and the Biosphere. These four spheres regulate the different functions of Earth, which makes it habitable. To understand Earth's system as a whole, we need to distinguish it by one and recognize its distinguishing characteristics. The watery parts of our planet, including Bayford that hovers at ab the above surface of the Earth, and waters that underground makes up its hydrosphere, from the Greek word hydro, meaning water. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water. From the depths of the ocean to the solid iceberg, hydrosphere is all around us. Take a deep breath. You are breathing in air from the atmosphere. The atmosphere from the Greek word atmos means vapor is a layer of gases surrounding our planet. Earth's atmosphere comprises 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 0.9% carbon dioxide, water vapor, argon, and other gases. The atmosphere serves many functions. It offers protections against UV radiations and helps hold on heat to warm the planet's surface and contains oxygen and carbon dioxide required for animals and plant life. Earth's crust and upper portion of the mantle makes up the lithosphere, which from the Greek word lithos means stone. It includes rocks, sediments, soils, and surface landforms. The lithosphere is constantly changing because of the shift from the tectonic plates. These movements are very slow and we do not feel these changes unless an earthquake or volcanic eruption occurs. The last system is the biosphere. From the Greek word bios, which means life, contains all living organisms on Earth. Living being can be found in all parts of the Earth, from areas comprising terrestrial, marine, and coastal ecosystem, to places where you don't imagine life would exist. We are part of the biosphere, as are the crops that we grow. All living things, from tiny bacteria to blue whales, are part of the Earth's biosphere. Since life exists on the ground, in the air, and in the water, the biosphere overlaps all the spheres. These four systems all interact to create a complex and continuously changing whole called the Earth system. Although the four systems have their unique identities, there is a substantial interaction between them. To give you an example, on January 12, 2020, the Al Volcano in the city of Batangas erupted. This event altered the surrounding environment and provided scientists with an opportunity to study the effects of volcanic eruptions on the geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and the biosphere. Volcanoes, as event in the geosphere, releases a large amount of particulate matter into the atmosphere. These particles serves as a nuclei for the formation of water droplets, the hydrosphere. Rainfall often increases following an eruption in stimulating plant growth, the biosphere. We could not exist without any of these systems.